So we have a few tests for regular damlas. It's basically flexibility stuff, but this is just kind of, yeah, there we go. So that would be a point for one of those on the scale. So you can see her joints are already extremely mobile. Um, we really don't need to go too crazy with the adjustment. We're kind of working on some mid-back pain, and so in order to kind of mitigate the mid-back symptoms, we're working on shoulder mobility and hip stability. So the big thing, or our big difficulty to overcome is um, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, so she's already extremely flexible. So the only thing that we're doing differently is that we're going to add stability into that flexibility. So basically creating flexibility that she can control and use versus just passively having. So I don't know if that made sense, but okay. yeah. <laughs> kind of a little review of last session. Yeah. So we started with hips last time. Um, we're going to work into some shoulder stuff as well today, but adjustments and everything else will look the same. So, um, anything bothering you specifically? Um, my back was kind of sore today. Kind of tried to stretch it out at work, but I felt I still feel tension in it. Okay, so kind of the same area. Yeah. And then any soreness after our last adjustment? No. Okay, so all that stuff's pretty good. I guess the true test is going to be during the hike because that's right. what bothers it the most. Right. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, well, let's go face it down and we'll get all that stuff going. I actually prefer my shoes off. I love that. <laughs> that's perfect. <clears throat> Got the colorful socks, the colorful shoes. Cool, my hips actually look really good. And that mid back pain, you're kind of talking about is right through here. Mm -hmm. Cool. So I'm just going to do a little bit of traction. We don't really need any muscle releases through here today. And this feels okay? Yeah. So let's go ahead and face me over here. Awesome. And then you can go onto your back. We'll scoot down about two inches that way. Can you bring your chin to your chest? <laughs> Got all of them. Got them. <laughs> this one's okay. And that was kind of the spot, that second one that we did. That yeah, talking about. definitely. The next still feeling pretty good. Yeah. A little bit of tension on this left side. And that's kind of what you had last time too. I believe so. Doing okay with the pressure there. Yeah. Not the most fun thing you've done today. Uh -uh. Show us your <laughs> flexible joints. What do I do? Yeah, so we have a few tests for regular damlas. It's basically flexibility stuff, but this is just kind of, yeah, there we go. So that would be a point for one of those on the scale. So you can see her joints are already extremely mobile. Um, we really don't need to go too crazy with the adjustment. Just kind of gentle stuff to get some 
something like that in there. I'm doing good though. It's like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and we'll sit up and face this way. <coughs> Get those shoulder pulls. You want to go to this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Alright, so um, let's come back to this spot. We'll do a little bit of scraping here, and we may add some, did we do tape with you last time? No. So I want to add some tape in, and that will give you some feedback as to kind of what positions are aggravating it. If you're going into too much flexion, okay. it'll kind of give you that stretch feedback, and then we'll run through some rehab. Sounds so I'll have you go face down one more time. But adjustments are pretty easy with you, and the scraping that we did last time, that felt okay? We didn't do that last time. Okay. This simple. Do you mind if I lift this shirt up to here? Go for it. And kind of right through here. Mm. Both sides. Show where you. And it doesn't really bother you too much through here. Not as much, no. Okay. So the pressure here, do you okay with that? Yeah. Not ticklish or anything. <laughs> kind of tickles okay. on <laughs> I'll try to be quick with it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it, it's tough to do <laughs> it's ticklish, but be quick. The nice thing with this lid is it is a pretty quick therapy. Alright. <laughs> All done with that. So a little bit of alcohol spray coming at you in three, two, one. And that's just so we get that emollient off. Another one, three, two, one. That should be good up to five days or so. Let's cut in the shower, get in the pool, you guys get in the water. But all I want that there for is really just a biofeedback to kind of let you know where you are in space, kind of trying to stay away from flexion. Okay. So um, you can actually hang here if you're comfortable. Okay. Um, I want to run through some of kind of what we would do if you're too flexible for wall angels which we just discovered you are. So these are called swimmer hovers. And so okay. what I'm gonna have you do is start with the hand just right here, kind of actually touching the fingertips. Is that okay? Perfect. So we're gonna keep the elbows high and try to lift the hands off. So we feel that nice little squeeze through here. Yeah. I want you to keep your elbows in the same place and just extend out. Perfect. Great. And then from there, if we can rotate the thumbs all the way down, we're gonna keep the elbows high and up. And we're gonna bend at the elbows now so that the fingertips touch in the center. Perfect. Good, and you can relax. You can just kind of rest down. 
pretty intense? No. No? <laughs> okay. So let's challenge it a few more times. And we can do this with repetitions where we're unbroken. So let's go ahead and bring the elbows up. Palms up as high as you can go. Try to touch my hands right here. Good. And then let's go ahead and extend out. And we're going to bring the thumbs all the way forward. So squeeze it. Yes. That rotation all the way out. Good. Now we're going to bend at the elbows. Good. And try to come up and touch the fingertips above your head. Still pretty easy? Felt a little bit more tension. Okay. So do you kind of see what I want you to do? Let's go ahead and do one more repetition back. So okay. keeping the elbows high, palm or back of the wrist towards the sky. We'll extend out. Good. Keep driving up. Perfect. Squeeze as much rotation out as you can. And then we'll bend at those elbows. Try to make the fingertips touch. And coming all the way back. Elbows high. Rotate here. Got some little pops. And then fingertips touching. Come forward. So the opposite way. Oh. Good. And down. Any engagement through here? Yeah. Okay, cool. Finally got you. Yeah. <laughs> so that's some crazy mobility show off. Uh, <laughs> Most people are struggling even to, to just stay at parallel. So okay. this is not a normal thing to see, but that was really awesome. It's Cirque du Soleil athlete. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, so we got some good engagement through here. Yes. So that'll be kind of your alternative to the wall angels to make you work a little bit harder. Okay. You're working against gravity and just getting all that stuff to engage so that you're used to using that motion at an end range. So yeah, that's what we'll add into today. And then probably next time I see you, we'll add in some hip exercises. Uh, Go ahead and set up that. That was cool. <laughs> Pretty challenging. Or it can be, I guess. It, yeah, you know. it, it would probably be more so if I kept on doing it. But yeah. I, I did feel a little bit. So see if you can kind of try between anywhere between three to five reps. You can slow it down even slower. Every time you get to an end range, you can even count a five second count and see if you can crank it back even a millimeter more further. So we're looking okay. for that shakiness, um, just anything that can challenge you a little bit more. It's a little bit tough because there is no point A to point B. You're literally just trying to put that motion further into action. They didn't scream, but it, it made like so many popping noises. <laughs> Yeah, the popping noises with these are typically um, a little bit deeper, and so they're not as audible as like, the adjustments that we hear. So that feels okay on the cheeks and on the ears. Mm -hmm. And are you feeling that tension a little bit low in the neck? Yeah. So we're going to hang here for a little bit. Crazy, right? No. Alright, now watch yourself. Ooh, big scrap song. Like, wait a minute. I, I, I just thought about this. Oh shit! Bro, fuck, baby, the biggest. Oh, I mean to call you that. Oh shit, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I wouldn't expect that. Wait a minute. Talk about it. You feel that shit? Man. That felt pretty good. Man, yeah. Man, listen. I gotta get on Yelp. You on Yelp? <laughs> you on Yelp? What is it? Yelp? L y e p l p some shit like that. Man, listen here. Dude. Hey, highly recommend it. Like, he just fixed my problem in one swoop. Like, man. You, look. <laughs> it's all gone? It's pretty much dang there. Did you yes. see that? Oh, I saw that. You took that my whole sense. body. Man, I'm, I'm a heavy guy. I t listen, I told you you were going to put some pressure behind that. I knew it. Them big ass scraps on it. I knew it. You got to sign me up for Monday. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put that down for Monday. We got to go for Monday right there, man. Do you want to get in for next week? Yeah, man, you got to. You got to. I feel so much better already. You got to, man. I got to stay committed. Like, damn, this scrap's kind of thick, kind of. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Man, did you? Man. I like usually like that's all you don't basically pick me up by my head and just that's basically what you just did just slam down with it that's so dope good stuff today I appreciate it man for sure Jeez. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, do me a huge favor and smash that like button below. And if you want to see more videos like that, go ahead and subscribe my face button right there if you don't want to miss out.